I have a dropped pin location and a truck sitting in front of me that is uh, supposed to have a sprayer loaded on it and my friend is going to be here soon and <laughs> it's just things like this that make uh, my content what it is and my life what it is because it's all not a plan and it's all dropped pins, dirt roads, and lots of traveling. <laughs> like five minutes to load that thing. I'm gonna follow him to the field. I'm gonna jump in the sprayer and then I'm gonna go because I have five more hours to drive today and you don't want to get in at like a, a weird time. I try to not get to places that I'm going to meet new people at 11 o'clock at night. It makes it a little awkward. So I try to be mindful of my schedule while I'm meeting with everybody. It makes things a little difficult sometimes, but it's fun. Oh, they go up and then they go out. At the same time. Sprayer and my friend Bradley, he's from South Dakota, and he convinced me to come and take a ride with him. So, uh, not a planned stop, but we're doing it anyway. Um, we're just gonna, I'll show you what's going on in the sprayer because I've never been in one and I've never seen a lot of videos about sprayers. So, we're currently spraying. He has a screen over there, he can see how full his tank is, um, what his rate that he's applying. That's what the colors are on the screen. Gallons per minute. The gallons per minute. Yeah, tip you just want to pressure. explain everything that's on your screen. Yep, we got tip pressure right here, how much we have left in the tank, how many acres an hour. Our auto boom setup right there, our GPS stuff. And up there we have like an overall setting that tells you how much time we got left on our fuel, how much product, pump pressure, tip pressure, a bunch of other stuff. Dude, it's like operating the sprayer your favorite thing to do? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Cover all sorts of ground in a day. So. Yeah, <laughs> we're going uh, 16 miles an hour. It's also got a hydrostat, so it looks a lot like a combine. Um, I've seen TikToks of sprayer operators that are also combine operators. When they get back into the combine after being in the sprayer, they're like, my brain can't think because there's still, it's the same setup as a combine hydrostat, but it has different operations and functions. So like the sprayer the yellow button that's what turns your sprayer on and then you can adjust your boom angle yep, on that yep. just boom on both sides and so right now we're lifting both sides lifting both sides to turn it so they don't go plunk into the ground yeah, so <laughs> back down. Yeah. how much fuel do you use in a day oh probably like 100 gallons or so okay I guess it depends what I'm doing. Like right now I'm burning maybe 100 gallons in a day, but doing 10 gallon work, then it's probably 200 gallons in a day, so. Okay. So you spray different things at different times of the year based on the crop rotation, what's being planted, what's planted in the field right now, and what's scheduled to be planted in the field for the next year. So there's a lot more planning to farming than some people might think, and I think that really shows with in the sprayer. So what are you spraying right now? Right now we're doing Roundup, Atrazine, and Antares. Roundup is Roundup, and then Atrazine and Antares are both residual to kind of keep anything from popping up through the ground over the next six months. So we're killing anything that is showing and killing and preventing anything from coming up in the next six months until we come through again in the spring before the planters. And then this field is planted in corn right now. These are corn stalks and it's going to be planted in sunflowers next year. Yep, these okay. sunflowers next year. And then he, when I got in, he mentioned that um, he has to leave borders around the fields based on what's planted in the surrounding fields and the wind speed and where the wind is blowing, right? Yep. Yep. So, 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 like, we have, so like we have sunflower stalks on one side downwind and that'll be wheat next year. So wheat won't come up through the atrazine or the antares, so we had to leave a border there. And we have winter wheat coming up on another spot, so the roundup will kill that, so we had to leave a border over there as well. So you gotta be careful with all your planning. So farming is not just a singular year, it's
once a lot all at once <laughs> you're like planning for next year you're thinking about what you rotated the last year you're spraying for next year while also spraying for the end of this year it's all i think it's really cool so right now while he's spraying the Roundup and the Atrazine and what else? What's here? And Terry's. We're spraying it with fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. So it's liquid fertilizer, Atrazine, and Terry's and Roundup in that tank. And out of that whole tank of 1,600 gallons, there is only how many? There's only a certain amount of ounces per acre. Ounces per acre that we're spraying on this field of all of the different chemicals. So he can see how many ounces he sprayed. Yep, so we're doing four ounces an acre of anteriors. Total, we put 3.9 gallons of that down on this field. We're going 32 ounces an acre of atrazine, so we're at 31 gallons and 34 ounces of buccaneer. And then we're doing 25 gallons of 28%. So it gives us the totals on all of that there. And uh, so yeah, and the 28% the goes really fast at 25 gallons. So, technology is pretty cool. You can see it, basically to the dot what you're putting down on the field. And, you know, that's not just full around up. A lot of people have the impression that, you know, tanks and sprayers are just full of chemicals. But, I mean, fertilizer is a chemical. They probably don't even know that Roundup's dish soap for the most part. It, yeah, what's in Roundup? It's just dish soap and salt. It breaks down to dish soap and salt. Yeah. And then for just a little more context, this is a 2022 sprayer. It's a... Uh, 616 hours. 616, that's how you say it? Yep. Okay, not a 616 oh, hour. <laughs> it's a 616 hour. And how many hours does it have on it? Six, like 600 yep, hours? 600. And how many, how many acres have you put on the sprayer in 600 hours? In this machine, just about 31,000 acres. A little more fast paced than a harvester or combine or planter or any other piece of ag equipment. It's also a little more bumpy as a buddy seat rider. I'm like death gripping this thing right now. <laughs> um, so how long ago did we start? It was like, uh, cause we're almost done. It goes fast. How long does it take you to get through a doing, tank? I'm doing 25 gallons about half an hour. So I mean, I don't know. 600 acres is a good day spraying this high of rate. Usually when you spray 10 gallon work, usually you can spray 1,000 acres, 1,500 acres in a day, so. So depending on your rate, depending on what you're spraying, what you're doing, depends on how fast you can go through a load, yep. but it's normally pretty fast yep. with anything you're spraying. You're going 16 miles an hour and just all whooshes. <laughs> So on this load, I'm doing 25 gallons of fertilizer. We can only do about 64 acres of fill versus if we were doing like 10 gallons of water, sometimes we even do 10 gallons of fertilizer. And with a 1600 gallon tank, that'd be 160 acres at 10 gallons. You know. So I don't know, we feel a little less productive on days like this. But. <laughs> a little less productive. <laughs> Imagine feeling yeah. less productive. Getting 600 acres done in a day. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to getting like, uh, how many acres in a day? Not a lot. <laughs> As a sprayer, do you know how many, how often do you use, how many square feet in an acre do you use that at all? 50. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> oh, no, we lost this one. <laughs> There's 43,500. Yeah, spray. there we go. <laughs> you, <laughs> and we never use that number when we're spraying. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and how long are the booms? 120 feet. 120 foot booms. That's crazy. I'm just, this is crazy. And right there, you can see tire tracks. So they go, uh, they go across the field like that to uh, break up the compaction tracks because then they don't follow in the same tracks as uh, the planter and the combine. Is there anything else that you guys, any other reason? No, that's fine. Just for the planters. And then the booms come right back in. With that button. Yep, the up button right here. You gotta push the foot peg down there, mm -hmm. right there, and you push up. And you can do individually too. Yeah. Like say if I had a narrow area and yeah. it could only be 60 foot wide, then I can only spray with my, I, that way I can only spray with my inside section, so. Perfect. Nice. 
nice and comfy in here. <laughs> I don't know why they keep letting me in the driver's seat, but it keeps happening, so. <laughs> and that is all we have on Springer's, even though he doesn't know how many square feet are in an acre. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a quick little stop. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for teaching me something new today. <laughs> yep. And as always, hasta la pasta. Thank you guys for watching.